so many cutscenes. They're all very good, but eventually you're just like, okay, come on, let me play the game. What's one and a half billion people to us? They're innocents. Surely they deserve more respect. Respect? For what? Save your philanthropy for someone that cares. The experiment may have been a failure, but I've taken steps to recover the emulator. If the need arises, I'm not against using the original either. All we have to do is repeat the process until we get results. Is this all too much for your conscience to bear, Pellegrin? In that case, feel free to reveal everything and wait for your death sentence. What about you? Me tried in a court of ignoble commoners? Don't make me laugh. We are the ones who determine life or death. But wait. Pellegrin, are you telling me that you've forgotten everything we've been striving for these past 14 years? Pellegrin is a pretty name. Commander Margulis. Margulis is not a pretty name. A message from Lieutenant Commander Vanderkam, sole survivor of the Vanguard Force. The unit was decimated. The Zohar emulator unsecured. Where's the Zohar now? Location unknown. Possibly seized by the Gnosis. I see. Notify the 474th Spec Ops Fleet. We may need to implement Plan 31. Have them stand by in the specified coordinates for further orders. Yes, sir. Federation Capital, 5th Jerusalem, Orbit Tower. So, what can you tell us about this man? He was a special forces agent with the Federation Police, a counter-terrorism specialist. Of course, that was over a hundred years ago. Now he's a cyborg working freelance missions. A cyborg? How anachronistic. He's a relic from the days when they reanimated the dead. They didn't have disposable realities like we do now. Well, he certainly got quite a resume. Rumor has it he deliberately seeks out missions with low odds of success. Is he insane or just fascinated with death? Well, he's been given a clean bill of mental health. It doesn't look like he does it for the killing. Hmph. Advances in science have placed thousands of drugs on our shelves. And yet, we still let psychiatrists wield their influence over us. They use these assessments to validate their existence. I don't believe them one bit. Well, he's got an extremely high success rate. I think he'll be fine. Sir, he's here. Show him in. That'll be all. Yes, sir. Ziggurat 8, isn't it? Upon your death in TC 4667, you donated your body and chose to become a product of Ziggurat Industries. That's correct. Have you heard about the mission? No. Recently, we received information that a certain armed group has shown signs of resurgence. This same group was responsible for the events that took place 14 years ago. The UTIC organization? That's right. The information we've received from our independent sources has helped to identify the location of the UTIC organization's hideout. This structure was originally a shrine for some long-lost ancient religion. It was eventually abandoned and remained uninhabited for centuries. So, do you want me to infiltrate and collect information on the group? If that was all we needed, we would have left it to our intelligence agency. 
Actually, to put it simply, we need you to rescue someone and return her to her rightful place. The throne. And technically, she's not human. Just tell me what I need to know. <laughs> a child. Is she a civilian? She's a realian. A 100 series realian. You've heard of them? The 100 series observational realians. Built specifically to combat the Gnosis. I've heard rumors of them. But I didn't know they were disguised as children. Is this the first time you've seen the real thing? Yes. But isn't Vector already mass producing them? This is a prototype. It will serve as the model for all future 100 series observational units. So, what you're telling me is that securing this little girl takes priority over all else, right? It helps that you're a quick study. So, will you take the mission? A cyborg has no rights. I cannot refuse your request. I will analyze the situation and let you know what weapons and resources I need. I don't mean to demand any compensation, but may I make one request? Go ahead. After my return, I ask that you eliminate the neural memories residing in my brain from my previous life. That's not a problem. But it could be a difficult procedure with a body as outdated as yours. Add as many synthetic parts as necessary. What an odd request. These days, realians are clamoring for human rights. But here's a man who wants to become a machine. All right, we'll make the arrangements. Thank you. You can get the specifics from her, Dr. Yuri Mizrahi, later. He didn't die in the line of duty. It says here he committed suicide. One shot in the head from his beloved pistol. Did you say suicide? Can we entrust the 100 series to that man? What if his self-destructive tendencies arise? Not to worry. He's been equipped with a safety mechanism which prevents him from hurting himself or abandoning his mission. He was brought back to life against his will. Once he replaces the rest of his brain with synthetics, he'll be a complete machine. Only then will he be legally dead. How are you feeling, 100 series realian? Is the food here unsatisfactory? Even realians require nourishment, you know. Are the Federation's 100 series realians so ill-mannered that they don't even reply to simple questions? I think she doesn't want to eat the food because don't it's a block of well, my goodness, poor me. texture. <laughs> and what would you like to be called, Miss 100 series realian? I don't like strangers to be calling me by my name. Where are you planning on taking me? That, I'm afraid, is not for you to know. What will happen to me? You're going to help us out. Machines like you exist to be used. What happens to you after that, God only knows. Assuming you people even have a God, that is. All I can really do is seek out and find the Gnosis. I can't help you with anything. That may be true. But this part of you is a little different. We'd like to have a word with the man you have hidden inside of you. In any case, you'd best be keeping yourself alive as long as possible. He will be arriving soon.
Could her sh skirt get any shorter? Give her some pants. Definitely my least favorite Momo design of the the series. Forty six hours later. Let's see. The mission objective is to rescue a 100 series Realian. Now, where is she being held captive? I don't want to cause a commotion until I find the Realian. It would be best to avoid unnecessary confrontations. Remember, this is a sneaking mission. We must be very stealthy. Let's make no noise. Stop! Put that on. Wait, do I have any skill points? No, I don't have any. Because <laughs> I just. Well, yeah, obviously I don't. Okay, characters. I think the scope is pretty important to have at this part of the game. What is up with the medieval stone bridge with, like, torches on it in this extremely futuristic asteroid place? Kind of a conflicting aesthetic, honestly. series Realian is encoded with extensive amounts of research data left behind by the founder of UTIC? Yes. It's data that could affect the entire fate of mankind. What is the founder's involvement? The founder of UTIC was the same man who advocated the creation of that child, the 100 series observational unit, Joachim Mizrahi. A madman who lost his humanity by immersing himself in science. You look as if you have something to say. Yes, you guessed correctly. He is my ex-husband. Do you want to know what it was like being married to a murderer? No. In any case, it's certain that the organization is frantically trying to get its hands on that data. I'm afraid we don't have much time to spare. Understood. I'll be leaving tomorrow at 0600 hours. Our hopes rest on you. There's one thing I'd like to clarify. Yes? My instructions are to take the Realian to the Milshin star system. Yet she's registered with the government as your daughter. Why is it that you don't want me to bring her back here? We're currently carrying out an operation based in the area between Milsha and Nictum. An operation vital to the human race. That's why I'm sending her there. That's all I can say right now. Besides... This way... I won't have to see her either. Yuri... 
Misrahi. They keep saying Yuri. What a strange woman. Even though it's written as Yuli and pronounced Yuli for like the majority of the series. There's nothing here. Who goes there? Ah, whew. no object permanence. It looks like my footsteps will echo on this floor. It would be best not to run in order to avoid alerting the enemy. I can walk by holding down the R2 button while I move. Bloom does not do stealth. Freeze. So, the one with 120 HP is really dangerous because it can um, throw mustard bombs, which poison you and deal damage to the entire party. Um, and poison in this game is so deadly. But we can kill it in one hit by doing something that we don't often do, and that's doing a tri uh, square triangle attack. I was about to say scryangle attack, because they're weak to fire. I don't want to do the stealth. Who goes there? Who goes there? Watch the enemy closely and react. Who are you talking to? Yourself? I guess if you don't have the scope equipped, you can tell which one is the 120 HP person. Um, because he usually doesn't go first. goes last. Oh, and he's holding that thing, but the gun only looks slightly different from a distance. Decoder 11. That is... Mm, I forget where that is. should be fairly easy as long as you know the square triangle trick for these guys, but otherwise you're gonna get mustard bombed, and then you could be in danger. Hmm, that egg looks formidable. I'd like to avoid fighting if possible. I wonder if I could distract him. Yeah, we do not want to fight the eggs now. We will come back. Fight him for a decoder. But until then, just distract him.
That's odd. Feed block hasn't checked in yet. I'll go check up on them. You two, stay right there. Yes, sir. Is something wrong out there? Shut up and sit down. You're gonna pay for yelling at Momo. That must be where she is. Watch the enemy closely and react quickly. <laughs> The Contact Subcommittee sent me here to rescue you. The Contact Subcommittee? Mommy? Stand away from the door. I'm going to break it in. Wait, you can't. They said an alarm would go off if I tried to force it open. Hmm. I guess looks can be deceiving. There should How be could she possibly force it open? This block. If you can find it. All right. I'll be right back. Pretty sure an alarm would go off anyway. I will show you what a true battle is like. I don't want to fight anything really until we get Momo in our party, so let's just rush through here. Oh, look at this. There's a tombstone. It seems seems to be a relic from when this base was a shrine. Intruder detected. Commencing attack. I will show you what a true battle is like. I'm just gonna attack the main thing. I guess if you don't want it to summon those things, you could just use physical attack, maybe? over with. That would work. I just wanted to show you it, but it kind of sucks. Right now, at least. Don't get me wrong, there's like an effective way to use those sub weapons, but it's not really my playstyle. And uh, there's definitely no way at this point in the game.
This should open the lock. I must hurry back to the cell. This must be the monitoring room. I can see every detail of the base's layout. Master key. 